Se está comentando, bienvenidos a un nuevo gameplay más. Esta se trata del primer episodio del juego de Walking Dead. Eh, se llama Another Day. He conseguido hacerme con el capítulo y he conseguido poder grabar con el portátil. Una cosa impresionante. Y bueno, os lo voy a enseñar. Está en inglés. Y si no lo habéis subtitulado, es que no he podido. O que no. O que era un curro demasiado impresionante. En teoría, lo he subtitulado yo. Ahora mismo lo estoy grabando, así que no puedo saber si lo he subtitulado. Incluyo que después de esto tengo la intención de subtitularlo. Yo, bueno, play. Eh, new game. Play. Estándar. No me apetece complicarme mucho la vida. Aquí está. Episodio 1, a New Day. Algunos, bueno, nos enseñan algunos en la demo. Episodio 2, Starved for Hell. Episodio 3, Long Row Ahead. Bueno, vale. Como podéis ver, no están disponibles. Coming soon. No están disponibles para nada. Intuyo que irán por semanas, rollo serie. Y de momento, pues ha salido el primer capítulo. Play. El juego se adapta a tus elecciones. Eso sí que es cierto. I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Ah, I don't give me that key. It's not every day a fella from Bibb County goes off and kills a state senator. That's for sure. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, with big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Damn. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. 
It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other... <laughs> Está, en, los, en los diálogos voy a estar callado, ¿vale? Se escucha por ahí pelea. No yo que sea zombie, ya que es esto Walking Dead. Policía muerto. Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Bueno, hay que salir. Todos sabemos lo que va a pasar con ese policía tirado en el suelo. Quiero salir. Quiero joder. Gracias. Tiene mala pinta. Bueno, ahora como tontos gilipollas que no sabemos que hay zombies, vamos a ver si el policía está bien. El oficer no está bien. Bueno, uno las llaves ahí de las esposas. Y justo se caen ahí. A ver que me quite las esposas. Vale, pulsa ese para tirar para atrás, por supuesto. La escopeta, cógela. Que hemos cogido antes la munición. A ver si yo o sea, no la cojo. Ya está aquí. ¡Va! Cada vez que se hace mismo me va a una pantalla más arrancada. ¡Ah, coño! ¡Coño! Solo tengo un tiro. ¡Hijo de puto! Creo que está muerto. Y aquí está una sombra. Help! Go get someone. There's been a shooting. Zombies.
Corre, Lee, coño. Esto es lo de la demo, los que hayáis visto el vídeo de la demo y si no, pues no hace falta que vayáis a verlo porque ya está aquí. que no hay en igual bueno que más gente ahora hello anybody home I need a little help Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need wild and hard to go. La caída es súper falsa. Luego, oh, walkie talkie. Unicornio pintado, eso que niños. Set beeping. Tres mensajes. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. Bueno, pues ya vemos que la han palmado. What's your name? I'm Clementine. 
This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. He encontrado a Sandra. Uh, podría equivocar la vida de la R. Toma, hostia, gilipollas. Toma, punta. Puta. Sandra. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Oh. Vale, vamos, Clementine. Clementina. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey man, holy shit! Don't eat us. No coma. We're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We are looking for. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm so just some him. guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? 
I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Hay que buscar el cochecito, corre. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Might can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take your seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where were you headed before the car accident? Just uh, out for a drive. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. 
Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Cliff. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hay una pesadilla de Lee. Ya sabemos hey, su nombre. Get up. Vale, tío, me levanto. Oh, well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. They call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and... Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. A fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? 